and welcome to a special edition of Cracking the Cryptic where I'm going to attempt to do just that. Um, a little bird has told me that today um, Dave Gorman, the very well-known and brilliant British comedian, has published a new puzzle in The Independent. And um, apparently, and I have this on the word of the independent crossword editor, no less, Mike Hutchinson, this may be Bluth, um, for that's the pseudonym Dave goes under, Bluth's uh, best puzzle ever. So I'm looking forward to this mightily. I always like Dave's puzzles. Um, and it seemed appropriate to do a bonus video today because somehow or other, Cracking the Cryptic has just crept over 450,000 subscribers uh, on YouTube, which is, uh, it is quite staggering to us. Thank you so much if you're one of those who's come with us on this journey. Uh, it feels completely surreal, um, but sort of wonderful because um, well, we love puzzles and it's nice to know there are other people out there who also enjoy them. Um, but that's enough from me. Let's get on with the puzzle. I think I have to click this one, presumably. That's it's today's puzzle. I believe. Whoa, that's no look. I don't like the look of that at all. How can I make this smaller? <laughs> Maybe there's an option. Um, display clues as a list. Oh, good grief. Puzzle in clues, position, right of the grid. What have I done wrong here? It didn't used to look like this. Um, settings, clues, left of the grid, right of the grid. I just don't want spay clues as a list. Ah, there we go. Well, that's much better. Right, okay, <laughs> so let's go. Right, one across. Uh, writer making copper three-dimensional. Copper's normally the, if you see any, any chemical element, uh, ignore the reading of this, which makes you think of a policeman. Uh, if you see any chemical element, always think of the symbol. So I'm thinking CU here. Um, I want this to be cubic for some reason. I don't really quite understand why I think that. I mean, apart from it's a something that it's a shape, a three-dimensional description. If something's cubic, let's try one down. Old Republican Romney halved. Romney halved weight in prison accommodation. There, no idea what that is. Let's have a look at 10 across. Uh, have habit that's a bit much. No more doctors keeping tabs. Have habit that's, well, whenever I see habit in a crossword, I always think of a habit being something you dress in. So I think that's overdress. Um, overdress, now why is it overdress? So have habit that's a bit much is to overdress. No more, if something is no more, it's finished. So it's over. Doctors can be have loads of abbreviations in cryptic crosswords, but the most common perhaps is DR. So doctors plural is DRS, keeping tabs, um, which are tabs of the drug E. So we're keeping E's, E and then S to pluralize it. <laughs> that's very clever um, and has given us Look at that, it's given us almost no useful letters. We just get a load of vowels and an S in five down. Um, he finally paused awkwardly and relaxed. Well, that is an anagram. The final letter of the word he is E. Let's put that in. Paused awkwardly. Well, awkwardly is screaming anagram. It's an anagram indicator. So we need to anagram the six letters of paused to make something that means relaxed and that's going to be eased up therefore so 17 across toy show i want that to be peep because i'm thinking of peep show um toy mm, i don't actually know what that is sorry uh what's 13 across we've got a d in that one minister assuming party position minister can be rev sometimes although it doesn't look very good here can be um, a minister, mm, actually, you know, what is that going to be? Position, mid on. Yeah, okay. All right, I sort of backed into that one a bit. I think it's mid on, which is a position on the field when you're fielding in cricket. Party here is a do. So if you have a party, you have a do. A minister is actually just min, M I N, which must be a valid abbreviation for minister. I didn't know that. So, uh, Put do inside min, we get mid on, which is a position. And that gives us an M in nine down. Initially, Owen Meany worked, Owen Meany worked as a petty officer with clerical duties. 
Um, I'm trying to remember. There's a book about Owen Meany, the a prayer for Owen Meany. Um, initially, Owen Meany makes me think O and M, so I'm actually thinking of Yeoman here, because I could put O and M inside this. Worked as a petty officer with clerical duties. Is that what a yeoman does? Where do I get the ye, the ye bit from it? Uh, I'm not sure. I want that to be yeoman. Right, four across. Angels missing out on one Hotel New Hampshire. Hotel New Hampshire. I think that's a book as well. Hotel New Hampshire. Uh, but I don't know what the answer is. Server dropping one drink. Server dropping one drink. Well, that's water, isn't it? That's waiter without one for I being the Roman numeral. Um, so oh, we've got a W in one down. Oh, this is the old Republican, which is going to be Cromwell. OK, so an old Republican, Oliver Cromwell, one of the most famous Republicans, at least in British history. Uh, Rom, half of Romney is uh, Rom. Weight is just W, and that's all inside a form of prison accommodation, which is a cell. So now, oh, this could be cubic. Writer is a bic, isn't it? Like a bic pen. So that would make two down begin with B. Setting free the bears is pants. That's another book. These are all books. There's loads of books in this puzzle, but I'm so ignorant. Well, it's an anagram, isn't it? Of set, setting free. That's really clever. Setting free the bears. If that really is the name of a book, I'm going to check that at the end. But if it is the name of a book, then it's actually a very good crossword clue for the word breathes. Good grief. <laughs> so, because if you set free the letters of the bears, you get a word breathes, which means pants, as in <gasps> that sort of thing. Um, three down. Alcoholic drink thrown up somewhat predictably. That's going to be a hidden. Yeah, OK. Cider is the answer there. So if you look inside the word predictably and take, so we, the somewhat here is saying, is saying take some of the letters of predictably and throw them upside down. This is a down clue. And if we do that, you can see cider hidden in there. So this is cubic, I think. I'm just going to let me just put it in and then let's think about it. So writer, big, making copper. I suppose, yeah, I suppose if you add a writer, you add BIC to CU, you do get something that is three by three dimensional. I'd probably have given that a question mark, I think. Cubic. Um, right, we've got L blank E here. Ah, fiction. Well, it's going to be lie, isn't it? Lie, Professor, Don, taking W for week. That's going to be right. So lie down is to have a rest. Um, oh, that fits with my yeoman hypothesis. The yeoman hypothesis. That should be a name of a book. Let's look at 16 down. Quiet journalists wearing glasses start to rattle tyrant. Well, that is oppressor, which is, seems a very apposite clue for the world today, doesn't it? Um, so... Why do I think it's this? Well, journalists is screaming press. Quiet, if you see that. If you see anything that has sort of a musical connotation, if something's quiet or quiet on a score of music, you'd see P. If I think it's for pianissimo. Um, um, or it might just be even piano. I'm not sure. But anyway, we've got so we've got P, press, uh, and that's wearing glasses. So glasses are spectacles. So like my spectacles, they sort of look look a bit round. Um, so two spectacles are going round the outside and then start to rattle his R. So that's a presser. So 20 across. Digital photo of judge, for example. That must be epic, I think. An epic. Uh, why is that judge? Judge, for example. Is there a book called 
Why has that not got a capital if it's the name of a book? Epic. A film? Is there a film called? I don't quite understand the definition there. I think that's my ignorance though, unfortunately. I'm pretty certain it's epic. Um, hmm. Okay, let's have a look at six down. We have got an N in that. Very adult books. Saw covers getting interest. Very adult. Don't know. Uh, 11 across. Oh. Oh, seven down. Twisted River. Echoes form of epic poetry. Huh, that's epic. That's the word I've just written in. Um, Twisted River. Well, it's an anagram of river echoes, isn't it? And it's a form of epic poetry. So something verse is the answer. So the right. So the five letter word is verse. And the seven letter word, therefore, sorry, it's not the seven, but seven down, which is a six letter word, must be made up of H-O-E-C. Oh, heroic. OK, so it's, it's just an anagram. Heroic. Now 14 across, we've got an I in. Irving's first novels, last line is off colour. OK, all we have to do to, to do, solve this is to split it up. So Irving's first, that's I, we've got that. Novels last, that's L. Line can be abbreviated to L in the dictionary. And that gets ill, which certainly means off colour. So eight down. Cloth largely covering English breakfast. Well, E for English is very common, so that could be this. So we need a word for cloth. Mo so we need most of a word for cloth, and that's going to surround an E, it's going to cover it, and it's going to be breakfast question mark. So something you have for breakfast, muesli. Muslin is the answer there. So muslin for cloth, take most of that, take the large proportion of it, circle the E, and we get something. So what's this going across here? It's going to be the name of a place, isn't it? Um, Peterham or something, or uh, oh, it's not Dagenham. I know it's not Dagenham. Angels, oh, S Seraphim. Good grief! That's a brilliant clue. That's a brilliant clue because that is. If there is, I think there's a book called Hotel New Hampshire, or a film. If that's true, this again has been used as almost a perfect crossword clue, because the definition is angels. And then what it's saying is missing out on one hotel. Well, hotel can be abbreviated to H in cryptic crosswords. Take a new form, so miss out from the word Hampshire one of its H's, and then take a new form of what you've got left, and you get an anagram of, I think, seraphim. That's absolutely amazing. Angels missing out on one hotel. That's brilliant. That really is brilliant, Dave. Good grief. That's the sort of thing that when you find it, if you well, if you ever have that thought that you can miss out a, an H, from Hampshire to make Seraphim, and then you realise there's a book called Hotel New Hampshire, you almost have to make a crossword around that clue. Um, but this looks like advent adventure, I think. That's my guess. Um, very adult books. So, oh, saw. No, that could be adage. A saw is an adage. Uh, so, oh, advantage then, perhaps. Let's put that in. Oh, whoa, it's all going... It's all going wrong now. Sorry. I want to turn that downwards. So, adage. Very adult. V-A. Books, New Testament. Good grief. So, right, let's work out. Getting interest. Is an interest? Yes, if you have an interest in... Interest. Is that an advantage? I have an advantage. I have an interest in this. Hmm. It sort of could be. It's not very clear to me. I think it's probably right, though, because the, the wordplay is so specific. So adage for saw, covering, so surrounding, V for very, 
A for adult, books, New Testament. If you ever see books, it's either going to be double B or OT for Old Testament or NT for New Testament. And what's this one? Oh, it's not peep. <laughs> Toy show. Play. Uh, yes, if you toy with something, to toy is to play with something, isn't it? You toy with your food, you play with it. And a show is a play. Right, okay, so now we have to convince ourselves that this one is yeoman. What else could it be? Vermin? Oh no, but I thought the O and the M. Um, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it is yeoman. It's initially Owen, so that's the O, and then meany, the whole word meany, all anagram. So worked is saying anagram that, and the petty officer with clerical duties must be a yeoman. I'm not really familiar with what yeomen do. I only know the yeoman of the guard, Gilbert and Sullivan type thing, but um, anyway, that's apparently a yeoman. It's a petty officer with clerical duties there. I've learned that today. Now I've got, oh, I've got my epic here. So 21 down. Sight exams soft for Charlie. Okay, well, I want to, that means I want a word. Probably I'm going to be putting P for soft instead of a C for Charlie. I think in the international radio alphabet, C is Charlie. Um, sight. I don't know that, uh, but I've got an E here. So, cast out, evict. Yeah, I mean, something in my brain just, if I was solving this at speed, I would almost have written that in instantly because something in my brain sees cast out as evict and I can see the word musical and I think of Eater. So I almost don't have to read the rest of it. It must, it's something, it, it's involving those two things. So, um, so completely <laughs> that that it must be right. So why is it right? Let's work that out. Yeah, okay, about, if something is about, it's circa it, and you might write circa as C or CA. So this about here is signaling the letter C. And a musical, mostly, is most of the musical evita, so it's evit, and if we put the C in the evit, we get evict, which means cast out. Um, okay, we've got an E in 22 across, not, well, take me dancing, it's gonna be an anagram of take me with gangster ultimately, so we need an R, becoming part of mob. Um, meerkat, okay, meerkat, I suppose. Is mob the collective noun for a group of meerkats? That would be very cool if it was, I didn't know that. Um, now we've got a K in 16 down. Missing exercise. Well, I can do that. That's skipping. A simple double definition. We just have to think of a word that means missing and a word that means exercise. Um, bosses. I'm immediately thinking studs here. Welcoming. Yeah. Okay. So bosses are studs, um, as in, you know, something you might press. You might get a boss is a type of stud rather than a, uh, somebody who runs an office welcoming hospital department that's almost always whenever you see this it's normally uh, the ear nose and throat department ENT because it's such a useful sequence of letters to have in a crossword so that gives us students who are certainly trainees we've got a P and a D in this one lengthy pedestrian crossing built up so pedestrian vapid crossing it looks like a word for pedestrian around a word for built up but i don't know many short synonyms for built up that's another top tip for cryptic crosswords think of short synonyms for everything you see in the in the grid i can do that one regrets accommodating 50 guides that's rules um, re regrets again short synonyms think of a short synonym for the word regret well the only one i can really think of is to rue if you rue something you regret it 50, if you ever see that in a cryptic crossword, it's always L being the Roman numeral equivalent. So all we have to do is to put L in ruse and we get rules, which are guides. 
Now I've got an M in 22 down. Manner of drug overdose. Well, that's method, I think. Meth OD. Meth is a drug. Crystal meth. Overdose OD. Method is the answer. Now, okay, we're doing okay here, but we are a bit stuck on this one and this one. So we could do with getting 27 down. Show bust and get all naked for audience. <laughs> it's a good clue. Conjures up an image, Dave. Um, show bust and get all naked for audience. Whenever you see for audience in a cryptic crossword, it almost always means a homophone. So if you get all naked, you strip, then we'd be looking for a word that um, sounds like strip, but wouldn't be spelled S-T-R-I-P. I don't know any words like that. Show bust flash. Uh, don't like an F here anyway, to be honest. I can't think of any word that would fit. Um, oh, we've got a sh little short word here. Staff regularly reading magazines. Rod. Man. I don't really like that. Regularly reading. S. Not sure. 23 down. Smile smugly as text describes distress. Smirks. That would be smiling. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's that's correct. Let's think about why. So, a text message is an SMS, and that is describing its surrounding irk, which is if you distress something, you uh, if, you're, if you're distressed, you're irked. So, uh, so this is looking like man. Then, if you staff an office, you man it. So, right. Yeah, OK, if you take the regular letters, so if you take letter letter M from from magazines, then you skip two letters, you get an A, then skip two letters, you get an N, then skip two letters, you get nothing else. So you just have to take the regular letters, the regularly occurring letters from the word magazines and you get man and that's going to give us a chance of getting 24 down. International organization, I'm immediately thinking the UN. Cleared out petrol, PL, unplug. To remove the lead or remove the lead. Yeah, if you unplug something, you might remove the lead from it, I think. Now, I think this works for the wordplay as well. So we've got UN cleared out petrol that's saying clear out the center of the word petrol so that gives you pl refined is u uh, if you look in the dictionary under the letter u you'll find um it, it refers to social class so if you're a genteel class i think it stands for upper class actually that would give you u and then g for government that's another accommodation so this looks like sugar something or Let's have a look. Oh, sugar P. Vegetable put essentially by one of Irving's characters in salt water. It could be sugar P, couldn't it? Salt water C, sugar P. Okay, so why is it sugar P? Um, so salt water is C. Put essentially, well, that's going to be the essence of the word put, the heart of it. That's the U. One of Irving's characters, Garp. I've heard of that. The world according to Garp, I want to say. John Irving, the world according to Garp. Yeah, I think that's right. So I, th I think there is a character called Garp. Um... A vegetable is a sugar pea. Yeah, everything works there, providing there is a real character called Garp, and I think there is. Um, right, we've got a G in this one. Steals six seconds. Six could be the Roman numeral for six, so VI here doesn't look great, though, does it? So what's the answer to six? The answer to six is advantage. An advantage is an edge. Okay, so that's edge. 
seconds is s edges if you steal you edge as in to creep um, you might edge somewhere um, if you were stealing a base in baseball you'd sort of edge towards the next base that doesn't give us anything good for 27 down oh if I looked at this no I've not even looked at this one in retrospect number is up for invested wealth that's going to mean wealth or invested wealth Econ uh, respect number is okay I think this ends like this let me explain why I don't know the answer yet but in retrospect is saying reverse number well in a common abbreviation for number is no is is so you can see no and is have been reversed here Profusion. Profusion is a wealth of something, isn't it? I don't quite understand that though. Oh, it's an an is it an anagram up for invested? I think that might be profusion. I'm not sure though. Oh, give us a P. Oh, cripple. Uh, site exams soft for Charlie. I want soft for Charlie. So, so that would suggest there's a word that we've got. A, we've got a P here, which has replaced a C. Crinkle? No. Um, ah, I don't know what that is. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Um, so we've just got we've got only got four answers left. So we've got to get this one. This is the easiest one, I think. P blank D at the end. I mean it must end in No, I no, I was about to say it must end in P E D, but then I was thinking about Vapid and Cupid. Um Oh God, no, this is an easy clue. Lengthy pedestrian crossing build built up. If you build something up, you hype it and look inside the letters of lengthy pedestrian. H-Y-P-E-D, hyped. So that, that what this clue is, the way we have to read it is say the letters lengthy pedestrian cross the answer, which is hyped, it's built up. So, so this one, hedge. Oh, this is the one about flashing. Show bust and get all naked for audience. If this was profusion, we'd have a uh, we'd have a U here. House. Show. Ah, this is, oh, no, this is beautiful. Good grief. This is a really clever clue. So, show, bust, and get. If we take those three words and we render them all naked. Now, what does that mean? We take off their clothes. We take off their outside letters. So, take off the outside letters of show. You get H-O. The outside letters of bust, we get US in the middle. And the outside letters of get, we just get left with the E in the middle. Put all those together and we get house, which is an audience. As in, a, you've got a full house. You've got a full audience. So this does look like profusion then. Let's try and work out whether this could be profusion. I can see the anagram potential, but I don't see the anagram indicator. Oh no, it is right. Gosh, no, I see why now. So this is very clever wording again. So it's in retrospect is saying reverse, and we've all, and I was thinking about the N O I S, but in fact it's saying reverse everything that comes after it. So we've got to reverse the N O and the I S up. So this is up. You can see if it's reversed, it would be spelled U P. Now it's not together because we've got the four invested in it inside it so u f o r and the p on the other side so the four is inside the the up but can all reversed that's very cleverly worded so this is crimple crimple cripple chippy uh sight exam sight i mean this is weird because the the clue is completely clear to me in terms of its structure. 
So I can read this clue. It's definitely a word that means sight. Then it's a word, probably, most probably, a seven-letter word, which means exam. And then we're going to replace the C in that word with a P, which is probably this P. I just don't know. I don't think I know this word. What was this word? It must be. I didn't actually, I didn't understand the definition of this, did I? Maybe the C's wrong then. Let's just get rid of that for a second and let me think about this without that C clouding my mind. Sight. Glimpse. Oh, wow, that's brilliant. Good grief. Okay, I don't know what's going on with 20 across, but I think this is glimpse because um, an exam is a GCSE, <laughs> of all things, not a structure of a sequence of letters you expect to see in a crossword because they don't seem very attractive. But then we replace the C, the Charlie of GCSE, with a word that means soft, which is limp. So we get glimpse, which is a sight. So what's going on with this then? E speak? Oh, digital photo JPEG. Oh, it's JPEG. Oh, good grief. Right, I was not expecting that. I don't think that's that unreasonable of me. Uh, oh, it says it's right. Okay, we did get it right. It finishes automatically. We don't have a choice. It's not like the Times website where you can click submit. So, digital photo, a JPEG. I'm not sure if JPEG is an abbreviation for something. I just don't know technically, I'm afraid. Um, but judge, what's that going to be? JP, is that jurisprudence or something? Or justice of the peace? I bet it's justice of the peace, a JP. For example, e.g. So JPEG is the answer. Gosh, that's very clever. Um, now I'm just going to pause because I want to check. Um, I want to check whether there is a hotel, not Hotel California, a Hotel New Hampshire. One sec. <laughs> okay. All right. I will admit I am. I have just proved myself again in front of a lot of people to be rather ignorant of the world. <laughs> this puzzle is a massive tribute to the writer, John Irving. And I just didn't realize it because I, I've never read a John Irving book. I have heard of Cider House Rules. I've heard of A Prayer for Owen Meany. But this puzzle is rich in its John Irving um, sort of um, Victoriana, the wrong word, but you know what I mean. It's got It's got all sorts of stuff in it. Let me let me go through what I've discovered so far. There is a book called Hotel New Hampshire. So that's four down. Um, let's actually go down the clues. Irv John Irving is mentioned in 14 down. Oh, fiction professor. I didn't check whether there was a book called about that. Um, let me see if I spot anything else here. There's another mention of John Irving here, oh, which had the Garp. The World According to Garp is a John Irving novel. Um, now, Setting Free the Bears was, I think, John Irving's first book. So this is amazing because Setting Free the Bears is a cryptic clue, uh, just in and of itself. It's just it's astonishing. Um, Twisted River. There was some. There was a. There is a book called Twisted River. Uh, is or it's something something. Twi Let me go and check. Hang on. Last Night in Twisted River is is a book by John Irving. Um, a Prayer for Owen Meany, that's that's a book I'd heard of. I couldn't remember who wrote it. Um, let's see what else, because there's more, there's more. Because if you look in the grid here, there is Cider House Rules. There is also um, something about the method man. It wasn't the muesli method man, the water method man, the water method man is in there as well and there's probably a load of other stuff that i i just don't know enough about john irving um to realize but when i clicked on john irving on wikipedia i have discovered that march the second today is john irving's 80th birthday so this is completely um 
obviously it's completely deliberate by Dave um, and I think well if somebody had set a puzzle like this about things that I'd done I would be absolutely over the moon it really is very clever and kudos immense kudos to this clue at four across that is just sensational angels missing out on one hotel new hampshire i love that sensational stuff sensational setting i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got through it I hope you had a go and um do let me know in the comments how you found the puzzle and we'll be back later with a sudoku edition of cracking the cryptic bye for now